Bomb. Happy 20th anniversary we have SpongeBob SquarePants. And see, and in honor of its 20th anniversary, I decided, you know what, why the heck not film a Blu-ray and DVD collection video over here, here of my complete SpongeBob SquarePants collection. And so, oh, I'm gonna, this isn't gonna be like my annual video where I just show the front covers of each of them off and uh, uh, titles off and go on to the next one so uh, there's nothing left. So, I'm gonna, uh, this, is, this is actually me going into more detail. Like, I'll show you like the front, the sides, backs, and insides of each one. So, that's, so I'm gonna do that for a couple other collection videos, which I'm thinking gonna be doing later on, but it's the first one I was planning on doing. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do this this later on, but hmm, then a few like months later to you know, for Stephen Hillberg's one year death. But yeah, that sounds a, a little more sad than the 20th anniversary SpongeBob. But enough about that. Just get on into this video first. To go ahead and start off with. Go from like left to right here. We first I have is the first 100 episodes gi giant box set, as you can see. And um, as you can see, it's missing the slip cover that's supposed to come on this because I bought this thing and I used using, but that's fine. And how and not like I really need it. And if I were to buy this thing brand new, like first when it was like brand new coming out. It's first year that is like a decade ago. This would have came with like a glass case that would have been, been that would have had to pop, get this thing off from the top and it would just be, be clear on this. It would have some like, extra bubbles and say SpongeBob SquarePants right here. But nah. And, but I can try my best to detail the slip cover as best I can. It would be pretty much the same as this cover here. The only, the only difference it would be lenticular. Here's the side. It, the side would be the same. The other side would be the same, except it would have Squidward, not Patrick. The back would also be a little bit different, a little bit more different as well. But since I don't have it, here's the back, which is a reverse shot at the front, including the logo, which includes SpongeBob walking towards Bikini Bottom. Here's the top, and in the bottom, gets <laughs> here. There is the running time, pretty long. And here are all the cases, and there, they did also, there was a different version of this, which came out in 2017, but I don't own that. But I'm actually just thinking about picking it up to have a new disc, because the discs are exactly the same. But, oh well, well, let me actually have that in the shop there. So, yeah, for, do I, in this 100 episode said there were seven cases, but two discs in it. So here's the first one, a sponge drop on front with disc one and two. All slim cases. The, the episode list on the back it continues the first five seasons. It starts with Help One and Reef Bowl and Tea at the Tree Dome and goes in order here. And here are the discs inside. And I opened that. Also, another thing too is if I open it too fast like that, as you can see, the disc fell out. out. But I'll put that to the side to show you. This on the inside, if you take the disc out, it shows an episode list with the little description on it. Even shows when the episode first aired. See, original air date May 1st, 1999. In July 17th, 1999. July 31st, 1999. Uh, August 7th, 1999. You get the idea. I'm pretty sure now we'll just put that disc back. It's case. Anyway, I open if I open this case like too fast, like the, these holders, even both the disc might fall out. But if you open, if I open it just slow enough, it won't fall out. That's nice, but at least it's not perfect. Not all these cases are perfect. Some of them are perfect, like this one here, which is disc three and four with Patrick. You're gonna and stuff in the back and. Goes into season two on disc two, it ends with Hooky, Mermaid Man, and Barnacle Boy two, and goes into just shoes on tight and Squid's Day Off. He, there are the disc. They, they are fitting quite nicely. It's 
pretty nice packaging overall, which is one reason why I prefer this older set. And here was disc 5 and 6 of Gary on the front. Size very slim. And Shanghai on disc, is on disc 5 here, as you can see it has. I don't know if you can read that, it says. There we go. <laughs> With alternate endings. And so we'll basically play through the episode. And at the end, end the patch, you want to up and show you which end all the endings. And then it goes into season 3. But in, on disc 6 here. So here, here are the disc. And uh, all these discs will be the same in the 2017 reissue of this. It's, uh, that's nice. I think I already mentioned that. Next is... 7 and 8 with Squidward and it goes into season 4 at the pretty much near the end of disc 8 here <laughs> there the disc disc inside and all kind of the same but different model uh, you get the idea you know use 9 and 10 with me. oh yeah Mr. Krabs <laughs> I <laughs> had to do that, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Solve season 4 here. It almost goes into season 5, but doesn't. And here are the two discs. Yeah. Next is disc 11 and 12 of Sandy. But this goes into season 5 pretty early on. And these are, uh, if you can see here, it says includes an optional audio commentary. If you can see by those yellow squares there. Oh, so that's nice. I've seen them all. They're all right. And last up is disc 13 and 14 with Plankton. And eh, disc 13 has the last episodes from season 5. And disc 14 has all the special features, which are, are Square Root, Root Story of SpongeBob SquarePants. I've seen that like twice already. Help Wanted 7 Seas Edition. That cycles through different languages. Of help wanted life lessons of bikini bottom at giving some information about the characters I shown on the front cover of these cases and the kip wham, kick wham pow bob music video mm, that's not not too interesting but it's all right you know, only four special features just but that's good enough and wow so this contains the first five seasons and so as you can see. And I also have the first five seasons by by themselves, which if you're wondering why I have that, which I'll get to that in a moment. And I also heard that they're making a next 100, a SpongeBob next 100 episodes box set, which contains things, the next 100 episodes, which I think it goes from season 6 all the way to season 9, which is, it, it go on here. So, just set that right there. Yeah. And next on is my only compilation DVD, which is the SpongeBob SquarePants, a pilot mini movie, and the Square Shorts. And really, this is just kind of a very cheap DVD. But when this was released in stores, it was $5. And it's 8 on Amazon. It's the side. It's a pretty cool side. And the back it contains the pilot episode plus re re with Reflow. Which is help one and reef blow and not treat him to treat him, unfortunately. I can't, by the way. It also includes, you know, it's True for Square, which is the mini movie, which I think is the best season six episode of SpongeBob, and it includes 42 shorts. Well, it's, uh, it's, you get a lot of content. There's the disc, and this feel I actually put in here because I originally had Friend or Foe DVD, and I just wanted to keep this, so I decided to. Keep that in there. So maybe the main reason I got this was for the 42 shorts. Because not all of them are included in here. here but hey, even if I, you know, if I just, um, hell, you know, even if I have them pretty much most of the shorts in here, it's nice to have them all in here if you just want to watch them all in a row. And next, well, we're going through the season sets. And I have these all in the older style packaging, as you can see. Which is a thick box set style. Well, for the first six seasons, these ends, and they do have these reissued now. Without reissued back back in 2012, with they had a regular size DVD case for 
all three discs and they were all in one. It was in a clear case. I have seen that for all of the, the six seasons. It was a pretty nice set. And it was a sigh. And it was a pretty nice set, but uh, I got this because I thought this one looked a little better. It's the best. Again, I kind of liked the artwork a little better on the 2012 set for this first season, that is. It's bad. That's just my opinion. And here's the top. And here's the bottom. And actually, something that's interesting is that these, for the first five and a half seasons, that is, from seasons one, one to five, volume one, they have like this sticky thing that will be on the back of these that will contain the episode list and the special features, but... I had it for this one. I can't wish I kept it, but oh well, well, well. But that's all right. And now I'll just show you each in the case. You disc one of help one shot from not help one hall monitor shot for fun and hooky and back as the episode list. Less as you can see, it includes audio commentary. Movies for one episode from each camera, and this three has less episodes because that has all these special features. See, look how many there are. Those are quite a lot, because these individual seasons have a lot of special features. That's why I have both. And if we open this up, we get a note from a nice piece of paper in here. On the back is actually a note from Stephen Hillenburg. <laughs> it's quite nice. There's the disc. And actually, you have a funny story about that, because with this one that I bought, this one came with two of the same. Which I was a little surprised from that, because normally these are originally supposed to come with one. Because they, they're exactly the same. same, which is odd. And I'm thinking that perhaps the someone actually got two copies of the first season, and they didn't want to keep one, and didn't want to keep the notes, so they decided it oh. Oh, I don't, this note's coming, but I'm getting rid of it. But or something, I, I'm not sure what the story is with that. Because I thought all three was going to become a note at first, because the, the, this three didn't have a note, but... Oh well, that's fine. And if you were going to buy the 2012 reissue of these, I'm going to be in trouble again. <laughs> they were, the disc won't be the same, it will actually be grey disc. This could be, but I have seen a few copies where they actually have the older disc in them, the original disc is in them. I mean, now he, which is pretty nice. I've seen it a few times for season one, and a few only once for season two. So it's the second season, which is pretty much the same as the first season. It's in a box set and it's reissued, shoot in a what a regular size DVD case. You know, however, the only difference with this one, one from the first season right here it, it is on how they look. Is this one has like this. They cool embossed slipcover all around. Cause take that out. Get a <laughs> my back's just kinda aching from this position I'm in. And get a nice box here with this image after he wraps around to the side. So it's into the back actually. And it's the top and the bottom. Slide that out and actually the image actually wraps around to the inside of the box and funny thing about Mr. Krabs here he doesn't have a hand he's, he's, he has hands gone I don't know why what that is up that but oh well and next is yeah, here's all the disc which are, are pretty colorful nice and colorful shot from war me see episodes on the back and this one actually has free audio commentaries on this where the, this disc and this actually has this overall picture of that. <laughs> see, look how great that is. You get to see all that in the whole. And it's a note from Steven Hillenberg. <laughs> Still kind of sad seeing, in that, hearing that now because it's, it's gone because of ALS. And funny story, I actually didn't know he got injected with ALS. As, as I legit did not know that. It was this two with Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3. Also, the sides includes a picture of that window right there. It's the back of the episodes and special features. And also, so this contains the Shanghai episode. Oh, but it only includes SpongeBob's ending, not the other endings. And here was this creep of 
the hash slinging slasher. She on show she's pretty nice. A few episodes on this, not as many on these other video discs. As you can see, you know, all the bonus features. It's quite cool. Yeah. And season two is my favorite season of SpongeBob because I just think this is a this is the best they ever gotten on with this so far. And uh, next we're up to season three and this is very shiny like so I have to hold it like this because this you can see the it's a tripod part and such and I'm not doing that that on you know, you can see the reflection of the light right there. So let me just hold it like this for this slip cover because it's very shiny. It's also embossed, but not as embossed as season two. So it's season three. Pretty nice. It was, right. And it's a little slimmer because they went for the slim cases for this to save shelf space. Let me just show you the top. This one I actually had to tape shut because it kept folding open. Now here's the actual case. The slip box itself, which is, which is all in the Krusty Krab, not, not in SpongeBob's house, just quite nice. They're on all them cases, is and these don't and the as these seasons get on, they don't have you know, as many special features as these are real seasons. It's the squanch of Squillium returns. It's the episodes, the special features on here are pop up trivia facts. Stephen Holmberg and crew. It's the disc. All the discs in the set are almost pretty much the same. The only difference is a crappy patty sticking by the of them. It's a shot from SpongeBob before comedy. Let's get the episodes. Pop up facts is true. Again. What's interesting about the something that's interesting about the season sets is for the first season, for some reason it doesn't have help wanted in it. it it's a shop from Plankton, so I mean, uh, and the instead, as you can see, includes it as a bonus feature for the third season. It's very odd why they did that, but you know, if you want to watch them in, in the correct order with Help Wanted at first, the first 100 episodes says the way to go. <laughs> go, so that is nice. Uh, <clears throat> oh, and another thing, grab that slip cover. You can actually slide this thing on backwards and you can get a different shot out of it, but I like it better when it's, when it's like that, because you can see, I don't know why. Still, I'm just gonna get in a slightly different position now. Oh, and the next one up is, actually, let me grab these both, actually. Wait, shift to the other side, because I was, uh, I was just gonna shift to the other side. I was sitting over here on this side of the camera, and now I'm just sitting here. And you can see my shadow. Hello. <laughs> and and next one is season four. And as you can see, these are in volumes, because next one three, which is this, this plus the next two are, who are in two volumes. As you can see, it's a season four, volume one, and then season four, volume two. So they have two sets of these, and then later on they, in the reissue sets, they release them in complete set packages. Is with, but this is these are the ones I chose to get because the artwork was nicer, and plus these, plus these have artwork on the disc. <laughs> this compared to the new the reissue ones that don't have artwork on them, and these, uh, this one's a, this one was a little harder to get out. Out so that's a shot from Good Neighbors episode special features. There's the disc. Yeah, yeah and these later seasons four and beyond have all have four discs in their sets, not three. There's some Christy Towers, just one of the best episodes from season four. And there's Patrick up there. <laughs> it's the back. So list special features. It's the, di the disc is pretty much the same as as the first season. I mean, the first disc of Escal. Escal now, it's volume two. 
friend covering them both at the same time. Might go look. Next up is it's from New New Leaf, and that's from the Born to Be Wild. <laughs> back, right? So back is as the episodes and show you special features for each one. SpongeBob, gum splat in there. And just Patrick. This is the age of different shots from episodes. Cause from season four, volume one, you can see the shot from Mrs. Puffy Fire, and this one's from Best Day. No, not Best Day of a Gift of a Gum. Next, and next up we have have seasons four, five. I don't know, I was about to say four. I don't know why. Anyway, Hughes, season five, volume one and two. Which is, they have like this part cut out where you can just change the cases to form different things. It's pretty creative. Yes, this one has the episode list on the back and this one has it just blank because it's supposed to have a piece of paper on the back. There's the top and the bottom. Right now, let's, let's get the piece out. Might as well just show you what this looks like if you you change it up. <laughs> uh, because it's pretty creative. See, it's, mm, let me get this in. It's the hat one. Here's what they look like. Out of them. This one here is probably my favorite out of all of them. But, um, because you see SpongeBob's normal smiling face, but it doesn't look as good from this side because you see, oops, just hit the tripod there. Now it's got a little spit on it, but it's good. But it doesn't look as good from this side because the side, you can see the side of it, of all of them. So I get better. Uh, I wait this. Whatever. Well, it's fine. Um, you already saw the front, and it's open the stop. The episode list is actually on the inside. You can see it's all right there. The disc of Squidward. So next up, and there's Patrick on for that disc and the episodes. And you can see SpongeBob's underwear on there. It's almost like you can see his insides. Would have been very creative if they actually did like insides of his. Hard lung skeleton such, but that was a lot of well. Now it's season five, volume two, same story. Where you can change these faces out. Oh, this one's from Who Who Bob Wetpants. This one's from Picture Day. Let me get the other one. It's from Twenty Thousand Crabby Patties Under the Sea, and this one's from Est of the West. Last year, this yeah, so it's pretty creative. Now it's so it's the disc it has a very creative artwork on the inside. Episode list in there, special feet, special features. Uh, if I pull this out, get SpongeBob's face from the disc. It's pretty nice. Now let's open up disc two, and this one actually came with the no note from. Oh, this one's actually from Patchy the Pirate because from season four, or his notes and beyond had the notes from Patchy the Pirate. Ed, the advertisement for the other SpongeBob seasons. Just the disc. It's not, underneath it's pretty much the same as from the first the case. Okay, so nothing, no, no difference there. So, and also, this is season four, or five was the last season to include the notes. Um, and now, now we're going on to it was season six, which it's not where it, where it gets a little more plain looking. It's just a picture of SpongeBob, but it is embossed. Season five sets were not embossed. Uh, the, uh, sides look look really nice together because the colors are reversed, except for the Paramount logos on the bottom. The back includes the episode. The pack is a little nicer because it includes the, all the episodes. So quicker to access them in that way instead of having to go into, go inside the cases to 
actually get the episode. Look at the episode. It's a nail, but oh well. The only difference from that is you get a little description. And you, uh, I that one's from uh, shots from this episode right here. I don't know how to pronounce that. The other side is from Crappy Road. Disc. The episode list there. And that's from Crappy Chronicle. And that's from Slumber Party. And the only and pretty much the compilation DVDs from from two thousand nine and not was didn't have artwork, they were great, but the season sets did have artwork like for they lasted a little longer because just wonder they decided to go above and beyond for that. <laughs> And uh, now, now that we take it's the last volume set. It's from Krusty Crushers, Shuffleboarding, Overbooked, and Shell Shocked. The disc. And this and volume season six uh, and season six volume two is actually a little more uncommon than the than than the other volume sets. So. But I was very lucky to find this one brand new, for, new for a nervous night. Nice. So this should last for a long time. It's the disc, the last one to have artwork on it, of the season sets that is. So now, now these next two, two few I'm about to show you are pretty similar to the reissues. It was season seven. Pretty, when all the sets are putting. See, 2012 reissues of seasons one through six are similar to this because it has like says com the complete season, but this just says complete season because this was the first time they were you doing this set. But it has the big number in which season and for nine half hours of play. We get side zoom and the back, yeah. quite nice. So, get your episode list in here. It was that that's quite nice. Let me shift that around. Just leaving it there so you can all see it. Get some short this one contains a lot of shorts. This yeah, pretty boring, boring disc. Just gray disc. Cause that's how they do it lately. Like they almost dropped it. That because they are too Paramount's too lazy to put artwork on their disc now. It was season eight. Most of the sets are pretty similar to season eight, actually, because this one says the complete season. It's pretty cool figure eight here. Most of the sides would be the same. Side would be pretty much the same as as the seasons one through six reissues. Same thing with the back, just like this, except special features would be listed and centered right here, and like this little rectangle, and this one's just in a bubble. Get all the episodes, special features. Which you do. And same story, and that uh, let me hold it like this. Episode list. Right there. It's very colorful. Uh, oh, now here are the forward disc. And that would have been the, was the last season for quite a while. And, you know, that came out in 2013. And it was season 9, which came out in 2017. Took quite a bit, took them a while to finish season nine, but they finally did. This one is a little different, and it has a slip cover on it, and it is actually embossed. Pretty much, it's one of the most embossed slip covers I have ever, ever owned. Because well, almost everything is embossed. The only thing that isn't is this appeal, this Nickelodeon logo, and the nine here is embossed. Nah, it's the side. I quite like this. Right, uh, and here's the back. And you get all the episodes listed there. There are some bonus shorts, which aren't included in the Square Shorts DVD. <laughs> and since it's that slip cover, slide that off. <laughs> and go. It's pretty much the same underneath. And inside here is actually a custom episode list I made. I, almost, I honestly want to redo that to make it look a little more nicer. So, but, hmm, honestly, I don't know if I ever will. Maybe one day I will. Because I, cause I kind of squished it in at the end because I was almost running out of room. 
because all these other sets had three rows per side and here are all the four discs and if there's and in case you want to some of these there is a good possibility you'll get the, the uh, won't get this kind of perfection with the double sided turning tray it was for two of them sometimes you'll just get oftentimes you'll get disc one here or disc two here disc three here and disc four here which I've seen on quite a few and that's uh, after season nine there was no new season of Spongebob of that's been released but I know that they have seasons 10, 11, and 12 well but they see they've only completed Season 12 is not even complete yet. Still working on it. And, and I still do watch Spongebob on TV because the new episodes I honestly do care for because I felt like they really fixed the format after the second movie. And there's my knee there, which I don't know how long that's been there. They, yeah, because after the second movie, well, like Stephen, well, Stephen Hillenburg came back and made Sponge out of water and the... Oh, and the show was slowly improving. I didn't start to realize it until like 2017. And so it's great, but unfortunately he's gone. So I don't know how well the show will be without him. And we get um, about a while. Hopefully it still go. They realize how this is how Stephen Holmberg wanted. Yeah, so if you haven't seen any new episodes of SpongeBob from seasons 11, 10 and 11, check definitely check them out because they're actually somewhat good to watch. They're not uh, like as amazing as the golden era of Spongebob from the seasons one through three to the first movie. But they were at least almost as good enough. And now I get, because I have my, I guess I'll show this next. See, this is Spongebob's Queer Pants movie on Blu-ray, I mean on DVD. And I don't need this DVD anymore. As you can see, I have the Blu-ray double pack right there. And... Actually, the funny story is I actually did have buy this first before I got these two. Mm. Ooh, so, and I haven't gotten rid of this yet because I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't want to just tear it up and throw it away. Away because I don't know. I might just try to find another disc off of eBay at some point. Fix it. It's in a yellow case. So, I don't know how long I'll keep this for, but. But now I have it. And then now the last thing to show you is the two movie collection of the SpongeBob movie Square Pants movie and the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water on Blu-ray. And I did turn this into a combo pack with a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, because this is what we're doing is just a Blu-ray pack. Like how I admit that does I got found another spare case, made it put this insert in the thicker case. See you in this thicker case, and just made a combo pack. So, you already seen the front cover, there's the side, and the back, and ne next year they were having another Spongebob movie called It's a Wonderful Sponge. Sponge, which, hopefully they mean the, that means these two movies get 4K releases, I'm hoping that. So there's the Spongebob movie on Blu-ray, the Spongebob Water Blu-ray, there's the DVD for Spongebob movie, which this disc originally came in this heel. So which I decided to put in heel because for the heck of it. And here's the DVD for Sponge Out of Water. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, it's a nice nice collection here from all these though. So I have a couple more collections videos coming up, but it won't be for a uh, month. Probably will be closer to a collection month where I do my complete collection of stuff. But we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes exactly. Because I have one planned. Won't be for a while. Yo, but anyway, it's pretty much it for this video. So I'll see you all next time. And happy 20th anniversary to SpongeBob SquarePants.